uh, solving equations because that's all I care about, solving equations logarithmically. All right, so here we go. I'm presenting screen. And first question is 6.451 slash 21. Now this is a good question because this 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 pretty much wraps up what I want you to be able to do with 6.1 and 6.2. Even though it's a 6.4 question, this is what I want you to be able to do in 6.1 and 6.2. And that is change this into an inverse function and graph it using what you know about graphing. So the first thing I'm going to do is pull up my handy dandy do jigger here. And for right now, we're going to do the algebra, so I'm going to move it up. And we got f of x is equal to 9 to the x minus 1. Y is equal 9 to the X minus 1. X is equal 9 to the Y minus 1. Bring the 1 over. X plus 1 is equal 9 to the Y. Now we got the definition of a logarithm. Definition of a logarithm says Y is equal to log base A of x yields a to the y is equal to x. Now we've got a to the y is equal to x. So we've got 9 to the y is equal to x plus 1. So I need to write it like this. So y is equal to log base 9 of x plus 1. <coughs> and y is equal to log of x plus 1 over log of 9. That's using the change base formula. And you can use both of these to graph. I really don't care, but it's going to be hard to do log base 9 when your calculator does not do that. So that's why I change base formula into this. So let's graph them. So let's go to the handy dandy graphing calculator. Y is equal to 9 to the X power. Uh, minus one. And the next one is log of x plus one. So parentheses log of x. I'm sorry, I can't type. Log of x plus one. divided by log of 9. And we'll add double, there we go, and graph. And I've been playing graph, so I'm gonna do a zoom standard. Zoom standard is six. And you see that they are symmetrical. I'm going to blow it up a little bit, so I'm going to zoom in. And I'm going to put it right there. And you can see, let's go ahead and put in our yellow oblique asymptote. And you see that they are symmetrical. To zoom in one more time. 
And let's put the zoom right about there. Hold on a minute. Zoom in. There you go. And you can see that they are symmetrical around the 45 degree angle. So let's zoom back again, zoom standard. And you know that the blue one is going up like this and the other one is going like that so our new one is log base nine and i don't know if you can actually log I guess we can do a subscript here of base nine of parentheses X plus one. And we'll do log. I don't I don't even know how to do the log. I guess that's log right there or right here. We can do exponential. And it's crossing. I can't remember if it's crossing right there or not. And we've got a vertical shift of negative one. So put a negative right there. That's and the vertical got, stretch. I'm sorry, what? Vertical stretch? That's what you put doing. it in the vertical. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Vertical shift of negative one. Thank you. Negative one. Oh my God. Negative one. And then a vertical stretch of nine. So there's that one. And let's hit save. And check. Okay, we did something wrong. What did we do wrong? Oh, both. Okay, both. And then the next one is going to be a logarithm. And you're going to have, let's see, you're going to have a horizontal shift of one and a vertical stretch. I don't think you're going to have either one. So one is going to be to the left. So that's going to be one to the left. Horizontal shift of one to the left. So that'd be negative one. Okay, they got a little bit closer. I don't know what I did wrong. I didn't get them exactly right. How did I, how did I do that? Anybody have any idea? We got the answer that's, right. We just didn't. That's reference. what I couldn't figure out. That's why I asked the question. I couldn't figure out how to use the graphing tool. Okay, I can't either. <laughs> so. Let's look at it again. Similar question. Well, let's just do it over. Let me get out and do it over. Because. I mean, if this question is on the homework, I mean, the test, you're going to have to. So that's we said that's going to be log of X plus one. So log base nine LOG base nine. If anybody has any input, please say it. Parentheses X plus one, so we don't have to spend a lot of time on this. Okay, 
log. OK, this one is a. Exponential tool. And. Let me get my calculator out. It's crossing at zero. Crossing at zero vertical asymptote of negative one. Crossing at zero. OK, that one's not right. Well, that's not a horizontal shift because the horizontal shift will be with the X. Vertical shift of one down. So vertical shift of one down. And. A horizontal stretch. Let's make sure I got that right. Let's see. Nine would be wider. I mean, nine would be skinnier, so that would be a vertical stretch of nine. I don't think that's right. That's not right. It should be. What if I do a horizontal stretch of nine? Excuse me. Well, that didn't work. I don't know why it's taking it off of zero because it should be going through zero. Vertical shift of negative one. That right there is what we're seeing on the graph. Okay. It's nothing, it's nothing, yeah. A lot of people have trouble with it, Mr. Lynch. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not gonna criticize anybody because they're having trouble with the tool because I would rather them give you four choices. A, B, C, or D, and have a graph that represents it, and just pick the choice. I don't like the graphing tool, and I know they're trying. They're trying to make it better, and that's why they're using it. But I really don't like it. I really don't like the graphing tools. Um, and and they're they're very difficult to understand. Zoom in. I'm going to zoom in and make sure. See. The blue one is going through zero. So I'm going to leave that as it is and I'm going to do the next one and I can't get rid of that other one. I don't know how to get rid of it. Oh, there it is. And we'll do a logarithm. And I can't get rid of this one. How did I get rid of it? Clear. OK. Oh, great. Hold on a second. Let's see. That's a vertical shift of negative one. And then save. And then a, a uh, logarithmic of one to the left. So that's going to be a vertical shift, horizontal shift of one to the left. I still can't get it to cross. And if I put in a vertical stretch, if I put that in as nine, it's going to take it away. Let's see, check answer. I would have to say there's something wrong with the tool. Because we got the right answer, but we can't, we can't get it to work right on the tool. So I'm a little bit. I'm thinking. 
because technically you've got the log of X. This is a number. And that number is divided into that log. There's no way to be able to get this one right on it. So I guess I'll have to just give you all points on. On this one, because I don't I don't know how to get it to. If anybody's got a. Because we're, we're supposed to be getting this. That's what we're supposed to be getting. And the blue one is correct. This one is not. And I don't see how you're going to get. The tool to take into effect the log of nine. I want to try one thing. What is the log of nine? Hold on, I'm going to use my phone calculator. Log of nine. Log of nine. Point nine five. So that is between. So that would be. Vertical, the horizontal stretch. Of point nine five. Point nine five, so I'm going to go back to this. And I'm going to go back to this one and I'm going to horizontal stretch. Of point nine five. Four two. Four two. Five zero nine four. Still didn't do it. Well, be one over. So one divided by inverse answer. Well, that's one point zero four, so that's not going to be it. I'll type it in. I don't think that's going to be it, though. One point zero four seven nine five. 1637. Nope. I've done everything I can, so I really don't know how to. Unless somebody has a has some input. I have an idea. What? Um, shouldn't the base be nine instead of E? I didn't even see that. OK, well, let me thank you. Who was that? Miss Yarborough, thank you very much. I didn't even see that. I suck. Let's try that. Well, it's a little bit better, but it's still not going to. OK, we got that much. Anybody else? I don't see. Let me look at the. That nine plays in effect, but as soon as you as soon as you type in the vertical stretch of nine, Gmail. which would make it, you know, you punch that in, that's going to mess it up. And it takes it off of the zero, which it has to cross through zero, so that's not right. So I'm I'm I, I don't know. I really don't know. Um one divided by nine. That's not it, is it? And see, they've got it. 
they've got it doing crossing at zero zero. I can't get it to cross at zero zero. So I don't know what to tell you on this one. I'm gonna have to find out. Um, ask the publisher. Let's go with instruction answer feedback. Need help with graphing tool can get the solution via graphing tool. And I can't spell. We'll just have to see what they send back. I don't know. Anybody ever tried this before? Anybody ever tried this? Uh, ask the ask the. Anybody? No, I've never tried it. OK, well, Miss Cat, Mr. Cash, let me know if you hear something because I think it's going to send via your email and we'll try to find out because I mean, I. I don't know. I don't know what how to get that answer except by the graphing calculator. And that's the only way I can get it. So we're going to have to we're going to have to figure something out on that. So it's a good question. I like I like the part. I, I, I didn't know that was the problem we were going to have. I thought the problem we were going to have was through the uh, algebra. And that's not the problem. OK, this is changing it from this function to the inverse function. That's testable. That's good test question. And sketching the graph using the uh, using the uh, graphing calculator. That's not a problem. The problem is not mathematical. The problem is logistical with this graphing tool. So I'm not going to hold that against you. Um, so let's just see what happens with let's see if they can send us some better instructions on what to what to graph there because either well we know their answer is not wrong because that's what we got with this calculator so we know the answer is not wrong we just don't know how to get it with their graphing tool and that's not mathematical that's logistical so we'll we'll just skip this for right now and hopefully Mr. Cash let me know Friday. Hopefully you'll hear something by Friday or Monday and we'll uh, re revisit this question. All right, let's go to the next question. I'm sorry if I couldn't help you out better there, but I'm going to tell you all a secret. Teachers don't have all the answers. OK, and anybody that says they do have all the answers they're full of it. Oh, we got a case number there, so at least we got a case number. OK, all right, so the next question is 6.275 slash 20. You are given a choice of OK, this is a compound versus OK. Remember our equation. A. A is equal. P one plus R over N raised to the NT power compound interest. And we got four thousand dollars. One plus the interest rate 0 0.04 compounded annually. So annually we have four thousand one point zero four times 
to the one T. So that's our first form uh, equation. Our second equation is A is equal to 4,000. One plus point zero four divided by 12. Because monthly raised to the 12 T power. And that is our second equation. So A sub one, A sub two. Now I'm just going to graph these because I doubt very seriously. Let's let's figure this out right here. So let's pull up our handy dandy calculator. Excuse me. And let's go to second quit. Uh, point zero four divided by twelve. Okay, so what is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, eight threes, two zeros and eight threes plus one. All right, so that's going to be four thousand one point zero zero and eight threes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight to the twelve T power. OK, so we're going to graph those two. We're going to graph the first one. 4000. Let me just go ahead and clear for both of them because it's easier to clear just from the beginning. Don't try to clear. It'll make you have a heart attack. Stress level will go up. 4,000 times parentheses 1.04 close parentheses raised to the X power. And then the next one is 4,000 times parentheses 1.00123456788 close parentheses raised to the 12t power 12x power and graph and zoom zero Well, what can you tell from just that picture? It looks like the same daggum graph. So let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit. Just to get some idea. Zoom out one more time. It looks like to me it's the same graph, but I'm gonna go up in here and see if there's any much of a change because we don't care about this quadrant because money wise that's we've lost money here so this is where we put in four thousand dollars so we're going to look to the right of that so i'm going to zoom we could do quadrant let's try quadrant and see what happens well that sucked all right zoom out. We'll go up a little bit more. Go up a little bit more. Wish we hadn't have done that. Okay. So much for that. Let me go back to Zoom standard. Zoom six, zoom zero. There we go. It looks like 
I'm not going to do. I'm going to zoom it out two more times. And I'm going to just make sure I get. I'm not going to zoom quadrant again because it messed it up. The graph looks like it's the same graph. Very similar. See, and I'm going to zoom out one more time. I'm going to go up here. And there's no difference. So you're going to have to actually go to the table to see the difference. So hit second table. And let's go to four thousand uh, zero because that's what we put in four thousand. At zero years, we put in four thousand dollars, and of course, four thousand. After one year, forty-one sixty, forty-one sixty-three. So there's three dollars difference after the first year. After the second year, forty-three twenty-six, forty-three thirty-two. What is it? Six dollars difference. Looks like it looks like six dollars, 20 cent difference. And so on. So I don't know what they ask you. I saw five and ten. So after one year. One, two, five, ten. And they want the difference. Well, it's one, two. One is three dollars. Two is six dollars and twenty cent. Five, and you'd have to track that. But forty-eight sixty-six and forty-eight eighty-four. What is that? Eighteen bucks. Seventeen dollars and forty cent. Somebody check my math. That's five years, 10 years, 52.91. Let me get my cell phone because y'all not going to talk to me. So, the only way y'all talk to me is through the chat. I don't see that till 10 minutes after the fact. So, 59.63.3. Fifty nine twenty one. And that's the difference of forty two dollars. So after ten years, it's forty two dollar difference, forty two dollars and thirty cent. Twenty years. Eighty eight ninety point three, eighty eight ninety point three minus. 8764.5 after 20 years 30 years 13254 13254-12974 $280 at the end of 30 years and 40 years. 19,759 minus 19,284, 204. I got 555. So are we talking a big deal? Not really. When you're talking about 40 years, a difference of $500, that's not very substantial. So you could pretty much say that these two curves are pretty much very similar. So let's see what they ask. Okay, did we just we just did that. Now they're not, let's see, you might have to set the table. Let me see. 
table set. Table set would be right here. And you might have to go to the hundredths. Point zero one. <coughs> and now hit second table. No, I was going to try to get them to go to the decimal points here. I don't know exactly how to do that unless somebody knows. I think Second. if you just select a number like back where you were before, it'll show the, the decimals at the bottom. Oh, okay, let me change that back. Table set to zero, one. There we go. And second table. There we go. Thank you. So at 40, I should have deducted that number, 19759.48. Let's do that. 19759.48 minus. Nineteen two oh four point zero eight five 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 point four. So let's look and see if that's what they got. Yep. So that may help you. Uh, I can't remember who sent this one, but does that help you get your numbers right if you go by the table? Who sent this one? Miss Maxson, does that help? I don't know if she's here today or not. I don't think she is. Nope. Anyway, she, I think her email said that she couldn't get the numbers to come out right. She might have not been clicking on the table like I like I didn't know until who said that? Mr. Yarborough, Mr. Cash, who said that? Yeah. That Somebody. Mr. Cash, I think you said it. Thank you. You just click on the table and go to the take your and click on and it'll give you the sense. But you're not talking about a lot. I mean, 40 years, 40 years, you should see a whole lot of difference. And $555 after 40 years is kind of like a drop in the bucket. It's not a lot. So they're very similar curves. OK. Two good questions. This one's a better question because we could actually do it. Uh, the first question is a good question for a test question, except for the tool. I wish they'd just give us four graphs, A, B, C, and D, and you pick the graph that looks like your calculator. That's what I'd really like for them to do. OK, those two are done. We'll wait to see what they say about how to type in that on the tool, hopefully. And let's see, where did we leave off with? Miss Davis, you're the only one that talks to me, or Mr. Cash. Where did we leave off last? With equations, right? Uh, that's, I have equations written down last in my notes, so unless I missed something. We actually do an equation. I have one written down. I thought we did two, but I can't remember. OK, I might have missed the second one. OK, let me see if I can get. Oh, now we can't get freaking my labs plus to work. Damn Russians. TCTC my labs plus. 110. I mean, I don't have much time, but that's OK. Let's go with. I can't remember what section we're on. Is it, are we in chapter six, right? Is it 6.4 or 6.5? We're on 6.5. That's what I thought. Because 6.6, .6, I'm really not concerned with. I mean, I'll cover it Friday or Monday, but I'm really concerned with with these exponentials. I think we did that one. And I think we did one more. 
I think we did that one. Somebody look in your notes. Did we do that one? That's yes. the last one I have written down. Okay, so let's do this one. Let's do slideshow and from current slide. All right, do that. One. And that, that'll be the one we end with today because I think y'all's class is over in about three minutes, but I can't remember. So I'm going to write it down while y'all writing it down. Log base three of X plus six minus log base three of X plus two equals log base three of X. Now we got a good deal here. Why is this a good deal? Anybody know? What's what's good about this one? All the bases are what? The same. And what happens if you have an equation with an exponent or logarithm and all the bases are the same? You can just set equal to each other. So rewrite this as log base three of X plus six divided by X plus two is equal to log base three of X. And since these bases are the same, we can set these two equal to each other. And that'd be X plus six over X plus two is equal to X. Multiply both sides by X plus two. And that's going to give you X plus six is equal to X squared plus two X. Bring this X over minus X. Bring this six over minus six. Zero is equal to X squared plus X minus what? Six. Use your reverse FOIL and we want to get a, so that's going to be a three, two, and a three. And the biggest number has to be a positive, and this means unlike. So X minus two is equal to zero, X plus three is equal to zero, two or negative three and why am i going to mark through the negative because here you can't take the log of a negative number and let's see what happens when you plug a negative three in here negative three plus two is negative one you can't do that either negative three plus six is positive three and that's good but these two blow up so you can't use negative three because of these two right here. So your answer is two. So let's go back and see if that's the answer. This is a good test question. So far, the three examples that they've given are great test questions. Let's see what they got. So even though we only went over one question today, went over two homework questions and we got, got one sent to the publisher. Uh, the main thing is keep up with these three. That's the third good test question that you've got from 6.5 and 6.5 and 6.4 or 6.3, I can't remember, 6.4 and 
is going to be 80% of your test. So make sure you understand these 6.5 questions. All right, continue to work on and graphing calculator. Let's see, there's another one. OK, write that one down for homework and continue working on 6.5. I'm going to check the roll right quick just to make sure nobody slipped in on me.